Hello everybody, we are back with another video. I'm going to continue showing you guys how to install the best LSPDFR mods. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the third episode of me showing you different stuff. Um, the first one we installed LSPDFR, the second one we installed a graphics mod. Now we're going to be installing all of the essential mods that you need. Now this might look like a lot, but you won't really need to ever install another dependency after this. Certain select mods you might need to, um, but a lot of stuff in here like game config to help your game not crash, rage native UI, a lot of uh, mods require that since it's a UI mod, heap adjuster. A lot of these are either dependencies that'll help with UI stuff and stuff that'll help your game not crash. A lot of scripts require these, and these are the main ones that a lot of scripts will uh, end up requiring. So we're going to install them all today. So I'm going to want you guys to go to every single link I put in the description down here, okay? And with those links, I want you to download them, and you will need WinRAR. So if you don't have WinRAR installed, go install WinRAR. All you have to do is search up WinRAR, go to the website, click download, go through the setup process. It's really easy. It tells you how to do everything. Um, once you've set it up, you should be able to open stuff with WinRAR, which I'll show you in a second once I'm done downloading everything. Okay, everybody, so I just want to show you guys this real quick for the game config. It has an option for legacy and enhanced. You're going to want to install the V34.5 version. Um, what this will do is it's just it's not the enhanced version. Um, this can also be helpful, but it might mess up a few of your stuff. So if I were you, I would just install the V34.5 version for game config. And I do want to point this out. Script hook V a lot of the times will get blocked. You just want to click keep on that because... Uh, it is uh, not a virus, trust me. Um, it's perfectly safe. And I'm just now getting finished downloading uh, my final mod. So once you have all of those, you're just going to want to open them up. And I did tell you guys I would show you guys how to open stuff with WinRAR. So yours might not have the WinRAR logo on it. That is fine. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right-click on the um, thing you want to um, open. Once you've right clicked on it, you should see a section called open with, you just want to click on WinRAR. It might ask you, do you always want to open up with WinRAR? Just make sure to say yes. Anything that has a .rar extension from now on will automatically open with WinRAR. So now I need you guys to go to your Grand Theft Auto main directory. You can do that by going to Steam, click on settings, manage, browse local files. Just click on those browse local files and then open this up right here. So, now you're going to go to WinRAR. I know there's a lot of them. Trust me, it's not nearly as difficult as it looks to install. So, we'll start with Rage Native UI because it's the first one I have. You just need to, boom, paste it into your main directory. Now, that's the way you're going to do a lot of these. Not all of them, but a lot of these. Um, that's just kind of what you do with a lot of these ASI kind of dependency stuff. You just put it in your main directory. Now, not to say that's how you install every mod, definitely look at the instructions, but a lot of simple mods like this that change uh, very little things but are very beneficial as well, a lot of the time it is just as uh, simple as dragging and dropping. So something like this with script hook V, I don't want to install all of these. Um, you can if you want to, but uh, as such for input 8 uh, dot DLL, as you can see, it's modified latest in 2015, right? Um, you don't want that in your game. Um, because the latest GTA 5 has an updated version of that. Um, so you just don't want that. What you do want to install, though, is you want to install X input and script hook v.dll. Um, you can install native trainer.asi if you want. What that'll do is it'll install a trainer into your game, but we are about to install a trainer anyways. Um, which is the Rampage Trainer, which is what I like to use. Um, so if you still want to, you're free to install the Native Trainer. It won't change anything in your game. So as you can see here with X input, if it ever asks you to just replace a file, just replace it. Um, very few amount of times uh, doesn't matter. So we're going to go to Heap Adjuster, put it into our main directory, Boom, trying to click off. Script hook, we can click off of that. Um, lemon UI, so as you can see here. So, this might be a little confusing because you have Rage plugin hooked, script hook v.net 3, script hook v.net, right? There's a lot of different stuff in here. So, for LSPDFR, what you want to do is you just want to install all of these from script hook v.net 3. 
drag and drop them, and boom, now you're good. And we're about to install scripthookv.net as well. So as you can see right here, so with these, you just want to drag and drop all of these, main directory, boom. See, so it's pretty easy on a lot of these. Now, we are also going to need to open up WinRAR in a second to install the game config. The game config is not as easy as just putting it in your main directory, sadly. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult, but not that difficult. I will show you. It's very easy. So, open IV. Very easy. Click on Windows. If you don't have Open IV installed, search up on YouTube how to install Open IV. It's insanely easy. Um, just go to the Open IV website, download, put in your GTA directory, and you're good. So, um, in our last video, we installed the stuff from ASI Manager. If you did not do that, go up to Tools. Make sure you have edit mode on, by the way, but go up to tools, ASI manager, and install all of these. It'll ask you to create a mods folder. Click yes if you haven't already. So as you can see with GTA uh, config, you want to go into the config. You want to go for more mods. I like to go 0 0.5 traffic, 0 0.5 pets, but if you don't want to do that, you can go stock traffic. This just helps my game lag a little less. So you want to go to update.rpf inside your update folder. You want to click show in mods folder or if it doesn't say that for you just click copy to mods folder that's perfectly fine and then once it's done copying it'll bring you to here so um once you're done with that and if you already have and if you go in there and it says show in mods folder it's fine just click on that but we're just going to go through here update x64 nope update.rpf i mean my bad common data so now you're in the right section so i just want to show this up here if you got confused it's in your mods folder update update.rpf common data if you do not have that in your mods folder go to update and go to update.rpf and click copy to mods folder then go back to your mods folder go to update uh update.rpf sorry common data boom so and as you can see we have something over here called where's the game config at somewhere around here game config right there make sure you have edit mode on drag and drop and as you can see, that just changed from compressed and encrypted to just compressed. That's how you know it worked. So boom, now you have installed that. But then boom, once you have this open, as you can see, there's rampage files and there's rampage.asi. Just drag and drop both of those into your GTA 5 main directory. And then boom, we have successfully installed everything you need to make your game run smoother.